Here we have an example and a discussion of Varignon's theorem, which says that the moment of a force about a point is equal to the algebraic sum of the moments of its components about the same point. What does that mean? It means that if we wanted to take force F and we wanted to find the moment around A, we could do that by separating it into its X and Y components, finding the moment due to the X component, finding the moment due to the Y component, and adding them up. It would be the same as finding the moment from F. And to do that, we'd have to get the perpendicular distance, big pain in the neck, algebraically diffi difficult, or geometrically difficult. So, we just break it into components, and this, these, these moments are much easier to find. So, first point, or first step, is to break the force, or the vector, into components. So, we have this force here, 30 kips. 5, 12, I break it into a triangle, 5, 12, 13, Pythagorean theorem. And so to find the x component, it's 12 thirteenths of 30, or 12 thirteenths of the force. It's 27, 69, and that is to the right, so it's positive. The y component, the shallow sides, 5 thirteenths of the force which turns out to be 1154, and it's a negative because it's down. Remember our signs, negative down. We could check this and see if, in some respects, if it was right by using the Pythagorean theorem on this and see if the resultant of x and y square both add it and find the square root of it. And if you do that, you find that it's 30 kips. The second step is we compute the moments and find the sum of the moments. So the moments about A is force or the moments around any point is the force times the distance. So the moments about A is the moments due to the x is the force of the x times the distance in the x. Force y, the distance to the y. So the force x is 2769. Got the force here. And the distance is 25 feet. Because if I continue this line of action, it's 25 feet on the perpendicular. Moment around A due to the Y component is Fy times D. It's 1154 times 15. And here we have 1154 and this distance here to here, because the line of action, and it's the perpendicular, is 15. we got to remember moments has different signing conventions. So we go here, and that would be clockwise due to the x. So that is a negative moment. The y is down, is a negative force, but it's counterclockwise around a. So that is a positive moment. So when I do it on the calculator, I get 519 kip feet, or foot kips. Remember our units. That is the power and the example of Varignon's theorem.